I was casually sitting down playing some FIFA until I got a YouTube notification from Sony showcasing their new link buds. So I opened up the video and I was immediately hooked with how unique these earbuds are. And I was really stoked to try them out, so I had to get my hands on them. I think it is safe to say that the 15th of February is a special day for Sony as they have decided to drop the strangest wireless earbuds we have ever seen. But the company has taken a well calculated risk in creating a pair of in-ear headphones that can be worn all day long. Also it is a huge relief that they haven't decided to give these earbuds a strange name like their other lines and have decided to call these the Link Buds. They are the world's first open ring in-ear headphones. A design that leaves your ear canals totally free to hear your environment while you enjoy music, listen to podcasts or take phone calls. The Sony Link Buds are the weirdest true wireless earbuds we've ever seen, but the company has taken a well calculated risk in creating a pair of in-ear headphones that can be worn all day long. A spacious soundstage should keep audiophiles happy while ingenious controls and an excellent companion app will appeal to techies. Base heads should look elsewhere though. However, these do come at a price of £149 or a $179.99 if you are in the US. As you can see, the box is very minimal, showcasing a picture of the Link Buds with the Sony logo printed on top, while the other information is written at the back and the barcode is stuck at the back of the box. we are faced with the Sony charging case that contains the pair of earbuds. And wow, these earbuds are actually very small when you see it in person. We also have a USB-C charging cable and there are also fitting supporters that come in different sizes ranging from a small all the way up to double XL to accommodate different people's air type. And it also comes with the relevant documentation. Now these link buds come in two colours, black and white, but I ended up getting the black one as it goes well with my graphite iPhone 13 Pro Max. I have never seen a pair of true wireless earbuds that look like the Sony link buds, which are the first to feature a fully open design that leaves your ear canals exposed. Each earbud comprises a ring shaped driver connected to a rounded housing. The ring part surrounds your ear canal while the housings sit just above in the conch of your ear, held in place by a rubber fin. Sony includes a range of differently sized fins in the box. This is important as the link buds won't stay in place unless the fins hook under the cartilage that folds in the middle of your ear. The Sony link buds are the company's smallest true wireless earbuds and weigh just 4.1 grams. The case is also super tiny making it easier to store in your denim jeans or in your bag's side pocket. On the front of the charging case is a little button. Press this and the lid flips open to reveal the earbuds and an LED light that lets you know how much battery life is left. Around the back of the case are a pairing button and a USB-C charging port. The link buds are made with the environment kept in mind as they are made from recycled plastics, therefore giving Sony's earbuds some eco credentials. The earbuds come with an IPX4 water resistance rating so you can use them while working out without having to worry about a little sweat or a few drops of rain. They are also secure enough to wear while running so you won't have to worry about them falling out as well. The open ring design of the Sony Link Buds means they offer a remarkably spacious and wide soundstage, which you wouldn't normally get from a pair of in-ear headphones. They also offer plenty of detail, excellent rhythmic accuracy and a well-balanced soundstage that allows every instrument in your favourite songs to come through with clarity. The 12mm drivers are fairly powerful, while Sony's integrated processor V1 ensures your music sounds authentic with minimal distortion. There are a few downsides to the open drivers though. For one thing, they let in a lot of environmental sound, which is exactly what these earbuds are designed to do. 
The fact that the earbuds don't create a seal against your ear canal also means the bass response isn't particularly strong and as such, you don't get that highly emotive chest thumping experience from tracks that have a powerful low end. Also, you should expect a bit of sound leakage that can be heard by anyone in your immediate vicinity. The bass is okay, but it could be a lot richer and deeper. That's to be expected from a pair of earbuds with this open design, as earbuds that close off the ear canal completely elicit a more powerful bass response. Even so, the excellent balance offered by the link buds means that the trebles and mids don't sound overpowering in comparison to the bass. The link buds come with the brand's DSEE feature, which upscales Lucy files to near high resolution sound. There's also support for Sony's 360 reality audio, which means you can experience immersive sound that places elements of your music in a virtual sphere. In other words, it sounds as though the music is coming at you from every direction. This feature works remarkably well for such a small pair of earbuds, and that might be down to the spacious soundstage offered by their open design. The battery life of the Sony Link Buds comes in at 17.5 hours. That's 5.5 hours from the earbuds and a further 12 hours from the charging case. A quick 10 minute charge will give you about 1.5 hours of playback. That battery life is a bit disappointing when compared to the Sony WF-1000 XM4 earbuds, which offer 24 hours in total. And most true wireless earbuds without active noise cancellation give you 25 hours or more. You can put this down to the size of the link buds as there just isn't enough room inside the housing for a huge battery. And as Sony warns in the Connect app, having features like speak to chat, DSEE and adaptive volume control all turned on at once will deplete the battery even quicker. Also the charging case does not support wireless charging, so you'll need to plug in a charger to the USB-C port on the link buds charging case, which is a shame if you've invested in a wireless charging pad. Connectivity via Bluetooth 5.2 allows for rapid connections with iOS, Android, Windows and Swift pair devices. In my case, my devices utilize the iOS software which is easy enough to pair. You just need to hold down the pairing button on the back of the LinkBuds charging case, open up your Bluetooth setting and select the LinkBuds from there. However, it's a shame that there's no multi-point pairing to allow rapid switching between your devices, but for me personally, that's not much of a deal breaker. The controls for the Sony Link Buds are rather ingenious. Like many other wireless earbuds, you can tap the housing to control your music playback. But as the Link Buds are so small, it can be tricky to tap them accurately enough to get the response you want. To get around this, Sony has implemented a feature called Wide Area Tap, which allows you to double tap or tap the area in front of your ears to control the earbuds. That's right, you only need to tap your face to pause, play your music or skip to the next track. These controls worked remarkably well, though you do need to tap quite firmly for the earbuds to register your movements. To get the most out of these earbuds, be sure to download the Headphones Connect app so you can change the controls to your liking. For instance, you could assign a double tap to the left earbud to lower the volume. The link buds also come with the company Speak to Chat feature, which automatically pauses your music if you start talking. And if the earbuds don't detect your voice for 15 seconds, they'll assume your conversation is over and your music will resume. Of course this feature can get annoying at times, so you can deactivate it using the app. To enable Sony's 360 reality audio feature, you take a picture of each ear and the app will then analyse their shape for an immersive sound that's tailored to you. The Connect app also lets you see how much battery life your earbuds and charging case have left, toggle between equaliser presets, turn on Spotify quick access for speedy Spotify playback and turn on adaptive volume control which makes the volume of your music louder if the earbuds detect that you're in a noisy environment. You can also turn DSEE audio upscaling and speak to chat on and off. Choose whether you want your music to be paused automatically when you remove the earbuds and check for software updates. The app is comprehensive and easy to use, allowing you to customise which features you want to use, especially as Sony warns that using lots of the extra features at once can deplete the battery life of the link buds. In my opinion, I would recommend that you buy them if you want a pair of earbuds that you can comfortably wear all day with the ability to hear your environment, adaptive volume control and speak to chat without the need to take the link buds out. And if you love a spacious soundstage, the open design of the link buds means they boast a remarkably wide soundstage, which gives all the instruments in your favorite songs the space to shine. And if size matters to you, then these are among the smallest and lightest true wireless earbuds, and they come with a tiny charging case to match. However, I wouldn't recommend these earbuds if you're someone that likes strong bass because the link buds are very well balanced, but the bass response will disappoint you if you love a strong low end. 
and these earbuds also do not have noise cancellation so they will let you hear everything that's going on around you. Also this could be a deal breaker for some but the charging case does not support wireless charging. And finally these do not have a long battery lifespan as they only offer a 17.5 hour battery life which is disappointing as there are other earbuds that offer a much larger battery life at this price. We have reached the end of the video guys, thank you so much for watching, be sure to subscribe as I'm slowly trying to grow this channel to a thousand subscribers and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you do have any questions be sure to drop them down below, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more cool content and until then I will catch you guys on the next one, take care.